Hi everyone, in this video I'm just going to take you through how to log into your A2 hosting account, how to install WordPress and then how to log into WordPress. So it's pretty simple, this is the home page, just click on the login up the top there, enter in your email address, enter in your password and hit login. So in here you've got your client area, you can look after your domains that you've purchased through A2 or your hosting services. Uh, you can also do that just here and here, and it tells you a bit of account overview information, which I've got blurred out because it is my real account information. Anyway, to get to your actual hosting, you click on My Services. Now on here you'll see I've got two services, and I no longer have my VPS hosting, but I do have my web hosting. And to go into it, I click Manage. Okay, so from here, it tells you a bit more details about your hosting. Again, I've greyed out a lot of my stuff down here because it's real details, and then you go log into cPanel. Okay, so this will just log you into your cPanel. Okay, so it loads up from there. It just gives you access to all the different parts of your account, like creating emails, or email addresses, I should say, installing applications, and getting other stats about, say, visitors to your website. You can install WordPress here with this WordPress A2 Optimize. I don't normally like doing that because that adds a lot of extra stuff to your website you don't need. Instead, I'll just use one of the installer services. So, once you're in your install service, I normally go over to WordPress on the left here. And then I click install. Now, for this, I've actually set up a store or a subdomain to do the store on howtosavemoney.guru and it is online store.howtosavemoney.guru. Now, with this in directory, you leave it blank, you want it in the root directory. Database name can be whatever you want. You don't need this information unless your installation has a failure at some point in the future. May as well just leave it as default. Same with the table prefix. Site name will be whatever you want it to be, whatever your, your web store is going to be called. Mine I'll just make online store. There you go. And description can be whatever you want. I'm just going to leave it as my WordPress blog for now. If you're having usernames, what you're going to use to log into the website for the first time it should be something that isn't just admin or administrator or something you're going to use to post with. Uh, just to make this easy for me though, I'm just going to make it Glenn an uppercase G, and my password will be password123, which is naughty, don't ever have that, actually I'm making a capital P, otherwise don't let me go through. Uh, make sure you have a stronger password than that, otherwise, um, yeah, you, you're going to get hacked. So, and then the admin email, this is the email address you want to use to log into your website. I'm just going to make it admin at monsterpiggybank.com. Limit logon attempts. Always tick that, that stops people logging into your website with the wrong username and password too many times and can stop your website being hacked. And with all this stuff, I don't normally tick any of it except for the automated backups. I normally make it at least once a month and I do a rotation of two. That just means if there's an error down the track, I can recover most of my data. And I just click install. From there, it doesn't normally take too long to install, a uh, couple of minutes sometimes, okay, even less, and it's finished. So to get to my web store, I now go there, and to log in, I go there. So it gives you your main website and then your login website. So you go to your online store. That's what it looks like at the moment. It's just a WordPress installation. Nothing special about that. It's just the default for 2015. And you've got the online store login. So from here, we go Glenn. And we go type in our password and we go login. Okay, so now you're in your dashboard, uh, there's a few things you can do in here, you can add posts, add pages, change your themes, um, I guess themes are probably something people would be interested in, no one wants their website to just look like this. Uh, there are a lot of really good specific, I guess, shop themes, or themes dedicated to e-commerce websites, or you can just get some popular themes um, at the time, so we might really like the look of one of these things here and install it. I'm just going to leave it as a default theme, but you can have an idea of all the different ones you can install. And there's more on the popular and latest, and if you want to search, I don't know, shop. I've never actually done that before, I don't know if something will come up. There you go. A couple of different themes you can you can choose from here. Like here's a, a storefront one. Anyway, so that's that. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to install WooCommerce and actually get your shop up and running. Okay, thanks. Bye.